Hi there, Dr. David Lim, board certified uh, laser dermatologist. Hey, today we're going to talk about a three minute neck lift and I'll show you how it's done using this um, Botox. It's also called a Nefertiti neck lift um, and the reason why it's called a Nefertiti neck lift is from, from historical grounds. Nefertiti was a queen of Egypt um, who lived around 1330 BC and she had a very nice angular um, jawline and a beautiful neck. So this is my variation of the Nefertiti neck lift and I call it the three minute Botox neck lift. I'll show you how it's done shortly. Okay, some basic anatomy. You can see here um, what we're trying to do is relax the platysma muscle which is basically causing these two chicken feet which are pulling the neck down. So what I use is Botox, but we're using about 25 to um, anywhere up to 35 units, and we're injecting it in the muscle itself, so in the platysma muscle. So I get the patient to say E, and um, this really accentuates the muscles. And it involves, like I said, it's about three minutes um, and virtually painless, because what I do is actually pinch the muscle and then inject. Um, so once again, it's really super easy. We can see where the muscles are by asking the patients to express. Um, and then it's about five to six units of Botox in each injection site. I normally treat the um, insertion of the muscle, in other words, where the mandible or jaw is, and also the upper third of the platysma muscle. So you can see the difference between before and after with this expression. To the left is massive activation of the platysma, and the platysma basically is pulling the neck down. And you can see on the right, one to two weeks after Botox, a marked improvement with the um, muscle action, and it's a much nicer neck. So what are the before and afters like? Uh, let's have a look. This is a typical before and after with someone who has massive platysma activation. You can see the neck's actually lifted because we've relaxed the muscles before and after. Um, a massive improvement. That's providing you are suitable for this neck lift. Not everyone is suitable for a Nefertiti neck lift or a Botox neck lift. Uh, patients who recruit your muscles a lot are suitable candidates. So who is a good candidate for a three minute Botox neck lift or a Nefertiti neck lift? Well, let's find out how I assess things. Okay, so if we're looking at who's a good candidate for a um, three minute neck lift or the Nefertiti neck lift, um, there's one letter I get patients to say um, to see how strong their platysma muscles are. So the platysma connects the area from the jawline all the way to the clavicle. Um, and this can be accentuated by saying the word E. So say E, Megan. E. E, big E. 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 See that? That's a platysma e. muscle. So realistically, she probably would not get a good neck lift out of this. Uh, because she does have some platysma muscle like everyone does, including myself, if I do this. See that? But, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just looking ridiculous, but anyway. So just, so just to show you, everyone has a platysma a muscle and platysma banding. But um, some clients or some patients would be good candidates and others won't. So by saying the letter E, you'll know how much platysma pull or just by observing the patient when they articulate, you'll know how much platysma pull and whether they're a good candidate or not. So that's the way we assess, or that's the way how I assess is the letter E, brought to you by the letter E from Davin Lib. Thanks for that. So guys, there you have it. If you think you're uh, suitable for a three minute or Nefertiti uh, Botox uh, lift, Go in front of the mirror and say the letter E. If you fall in category two, three, or four, you will be a good candidate. Um, hey guys, once again, thanks so much for watching my videos and uh, remember to subscribe for more information as I post a video a week every Saturday morning, Brisbane time. Thanks, bye.